Okay, I'm trying to show you here what I think is the minimal investment by a tutor, a parent, or a library STEM teacher who wants to develop or help the kids learn how to make Legos motorized, make them active with a programming system. This is a programmable brain called BBC Microbit on a motor driver board with a wire plugged into a motor. And I'm gonna give you links on where you can buy these products, but this is just to show how I think the least cost method is for making a remote control using an app, a free app on a cell phone. It can be either a um, iPhone or Android phone using the BBC Microbit, the uh, Boom motor driver board called Superbit and various characters and uh, bricks and blocks or Lego. Now, this is the website that shows the motor driver, and this company, Yaboom, has many products that go with it. You can buy the battery, you can buy the, the um, BBC micro bit, and you can buy the board, and you can buy the motors also. Okay, so here is what they're calling building block motors servo and DC motors. The red motors are the DC, which we have here. The gray motors are positional motors that only go from zero to a certain degree, like 180 degrees. Here is where the micro bit can be purchased in addition to on the Yaboom yeah, site. Kind of gives you an idea of the cost we're talking about the brain here as it compares to the lego ev3 brain which costs 450 dollars this gives you an idea of your investment and the the fact that it's much less costly notice that these people that i've got here I buy them in a three pack at the local um, dollar store for a dollar and 25 cents. This board cost a dollar 25 cents. This whole kit cost a dollar and 25 cents. These blocks, 72 of them in a pack for a dollar and 25 cents. Here it is Dollar Tree Store shows you that in fact they're a dollar 25 each now this shows that you have to buy several packs but at the actual store the bricks and mortar store uh, called dollar tree we don't need to buy a case quantity we can buy them one pack at a time for a dollar 25. here's the app that i'm using it's called uh, bst mbit app it works on both iOS and Android. And it works on new phones and old phones. We've got many iPhone 6 or Samsung A20, A15s or whatever. This, this app works with all phones that we have found and also <clears throat> uh, iPads and tablets any mobile device. This website will show you where to get the programming that goes into the BBC Microbit and where to get the app downloaded. This is just showing us how for a very low cost, we can get our kids to add motors to their 
bricks and blocks, whatever their creation is, in order to get the figure on the motor, we need this pin, which has the X connector to the motor. And then this end fits into the leg of the figure. This is an optional piece called the five by seven Lego Technic piece, which works very well to go up and build around. This beam fits on the base plate. It has two different lengths of pins, which can be used to fit this on. There will be more about all this, but I think this is about the least expensive way that we can get kids into motorizing their Lego bricks and blocks creations.